Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about PayPal and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is why does PayPal hold your payment for up to 180 days? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a pretty quick video, but I'll go over some important information you want to consider if you're going to be accepting payments from customers online through PayPal. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with PayPal, it's definitely one of the more popular online payment methods. It might even be the oldest. I remember the using them back in, I think 1999, but I'm not sure if they're old, the oldest. They might even be older than that. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below. But why would PayPal put your payments on hold for 180 days? That's what we're gonna talk about. So first off, why would this happen? I got a message recently that one of my viewers was selling some items online. They were selling it for quite a bit of money. They sold it for around $10,000. And the buyer that was purchasing these items insisted on using PayPal just because it's an easy way to send and receive money. Now the person who received the money, they did it correctly. They did send it through goods and services, not through family and friends. So there is that 3% or approximately 3% charge that PayPal charges. The next day that person got a notification saying that they have the money in their PayPal and it's ready to withdraw and available. However, when this person tried to withdraw their money from PayPal, it was not accepted and it said that the money's on hold for 180 days. So there's actually a couple of different reasons that can cause this to happen for PayPal to put that money on hold. But the most obvious reason is that when you purchase something through PayPal, PayPal has kind of a buyer protection. So they have a dispute process and that dispute process can be enacted up to 180 days after the purchase. So if I'm buying some, let's say tennis shoes online and later me and the seller have a dispute, I can file a dispute through PayPal and PayPal kind of works as an intermediary. And because of that payment protection policy that PayPal has, if you meet certain criteria, PayPal will put that money on hold for up to 180 days, which is kind of annoying. So the person that messaged me, it turns out that they have a brand new account. They only created a PayPal account just to receive payment for this one transaction. And also this transaction was over $10,000. So those are a couple of big red flags for PayPal. And because of those red flags, that money has been put on hold and there's nothing really that that person can do. The only other option is if the buyer refunds the money and then sends the payment through a different method, like a wire transfer or a money order or something like that. Now, one thing you want to know is a lot of people will then hear this policy and then try to cancel the payment and send it through family and friends. That's not anything I'm going to recommend. And there's a couple of reasons why. If you send the payment through PayPal as a family and friends payment, although it's actually for a service or a product that you're buying, there's a couple of things that can go wrong. First off, that's outside the terms of PayPal's uh, terms of service. So if they find out, they can completely close your account down. And if they completely close your account down, that money is usually going to be on hold for 180 days. And on top of it, your account will be closed permanently, which means you cannot own a PayPal account. Also, another reason why you do not want to send it through family and friends if it's not a family and friends payment is because there is no buyer protection on family and friends. So for example, if there's a problem with the product that you are buying and you sent the money through family and friends, there is no dispute process. So if you bought a pair of shoes online, you paid through PayPal with friends and family, the seller doesn't get a very large fee. However, if they end up sending you fake shoes or defective shoes and you want to dispute it through PayPal, they're not going to help you. So those are two reasons why you don't want to send the payment through family and friends if it's for a product or a service. Now there is an article in the PayPal help center that kind of discusses this a little bit. Let me go ahead and switch on over there. Okay guys, I went ahead and switched over to the PayPal help center. I went to this website, check my video description. I'll try to leave a link to this particular page right here. Now in this particular page, you can see other folks are probably encountering the same issue that you are and they have the money and the funds on hold through their PayPal for 180 days. And they have a couple of PayPal experts that chime in and let you know that there's basically nothing that you can do. The only thing you can do is get a refund from the buyer if they wish to do so, and then have them send the payment through a different method. But more often than not, a lot of times the 180 day PayPal hold happens to limited accounts. Now you will know if you have a limited account because PayPal will send you an email letting you know what you need to do to remove that limitation. And the reason that your account might be limited through PayPal, which causes this 180 day PayPal hold could be regulatory requirements. So if your local government requires something, if you end up selling items that are not allowed on PayPal, something like guns or prescription drugs or something like that, 
that will be a violation. And then it can put your PayPal account into a limited access, which then triggers the 180 day hold through PayPal more often. Also, if you have higher risk activity, like the person who messaged me earlier, they were selling something for over $10,000 and it's a brand new account that is definitely considered more higher risk activity. Or if your account is inactive for quite some time and then all of a sudden you just jump in and start using it. So think of PayPal as monitoring their accounts kind of like credit. If it seems kind of risky, you're more likely to get this 180 day PayPal hold. And the thing is with PayPal, since they are a financial institution, they don't have a black and white lines that tell you don't do this and this is what you can do because that could compromise the security of the accounts. Those are just a few examples of reasons that can cause your PayPal account to be put on hold for 180 days. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering why you have a 180 day hold on your PayPal funds, that's the best information as of the recording of this video. If you were experience 180 day hold on your funds through PayPal for a different reason, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know why that might be, but hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.